I'm Dr. Austin with Alabama Pain Physicians, and what we're going to be doing today is a, a transforaminal epidural steroid injection, but we're going to be doing a little bit, something a little bit different than just a regular epidural. We're going to be doing a pulsed radio frequency of the dorsal root ganglia. Now, pulsed radio frequency versus traditional radio frequency is a little bit different, is that is we, we do not rely on heat at all to, to affect the nerve. We're not doing, it's not a destructive lesion. What, what we do is we send an electrical field to the nerve itself and to the dorsal root. And, and what, what happens is we're only affecting the pain fibers, which are the, the uh, C delta and the A fibers, or I'm sorry, A delta and the C fibers. And those are the smallest and most sensitive fibers in the nerve. And what we believe happens is when we subject these nerve fibers to an electric field is that it actually changes the way that these nerves conduct. And, and so it, it essentially stuns the nerve where it doesn't conduct the pain signals for a period of time. And, and what we do is when, when this works in patients, we usually see it last from 10 to 12 months. Um, we use this type of technology when we've done an epidural and it's worked, but it hasn't lasted, and there's a non-surgical cause, something that we can't remove a fragment of a disc or something like that, but a patient continues to have pain in the distribution of that nerve root. In this case, we're going to be doing L T12 and L1. We have already done multiple blocks and got excellent results um, temporarily, but they've just not lasted. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to, we're going to do the similar procedure as a, as a transferaminal epidural, except we're going to come in very close contact with the nerve with our, with our specialized needle. This is a um, radio frequency needle. It's Teflon coated. You can see the very tip of it is an active tip, and that's where the electricity is generated um, out of. And we're using a, a Neurotherm NT 1100 today to do our pulse lesion. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We, our alignment is very similar, image, to a transferaminal um, image. Typically with the transferaminal, you either you want to go either above the nerve, where I'm pointing here, which is a a, um, a supraneural or a subpedicular approach image, or or infraneural here, where you go below the ner the nerve image. The the approach we take image with a the DRG pulse radio frequency procedure is actually a retroneural approach, and that's where we ease up behind the nerve and slowly advance until we come in contact and and cause a slight paresthesia. Um, in the distribution that we're looking for. Image. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Stick in a burn. One, two, three. I'm going to numb the skin here. And we're just numbing the skin with a lot of cane mixed with a little bicarb to minimize the sting and also make it act a little faster. Stick. Image. 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 Give me a give me an AP. Let's see how deep we are. Image. Okay, come back over. Give me a little cot eye tilt, just a hair. Give me kind of a hub view down it. Okay, and we're pretty close proximity to the nerve. Now, when you feel that paresthesia, when you feel that kind of shooting pain kind of down to the, the lower abdomen, I want you to tell me, okay? Image. And we know the proximity. Okay. Got it? Okay. And that's kind of the classic response we look for. We, we're very gentle in it, but it, it's kind of hard not to jump. It's almost like, getting, like hitting your funny bone. And what we do now is we will use very low voltage. Raise the arm a little more. And you're feeling that every time I touch it, aren't you? Okay, excellent. <clears throat> okay. Real slow, 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 slower than that. Are you feeling it? Any tingling? Barely. You do feel some tingling though. Okay, tell me, does it get stronger? Is it stronger now? Okay. Now I go down slowly. Tell me when it goes away. Yeah. It's gone. So 0.16 is minimal sensory stem. And, and turn all the way off. And, and the studies that were done with this, the, the studies they used, they used uh, 0.4 volts. And we actually try to meet a stricter criteria. We, we get stimulation at, at 0.2 or less. And we found that our 
our results of our radio frequencies are much longer and they're actually better than what the studies have shown that use 0.4 is a cutoff. So we use a strict criteria and we get very close to the nerve. Okay. It's too bad and to so tolerate alcohol. Go ahead and, and turn the pulse on. Off. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn this on. Keep it below 44. Are you feeling it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, stop it. Stop it. Do it down. Can you tolerate that? Is that too bad? Oh, that's close. Okay. If we can hold it just at that, that's perfect. We are getting a great, a great pulse. And, and the reason why we try not to, to, to numb the nerve with this, because we numb the nerve, we, we risk losing the nerve. If we numb it, he won't be able to feel the tingling and, and the pulsing. And, and it's, it's an odd sensation. It's sometimes a little uncomfortable. Um, but the reality is, is, is the stronger this pulse can be, the closer in with the nerve, the better it's going to work and the longer it's going to last. So this, this is excellent. We are, we are essentially touching the nerve root, uh, the, dors the dorsal root, with our needle, and we're getting an excellent current. We're getting um, 190, 190 to 200 milliamps. My cutoff there is I want to get at least 120 milliamps. And we, keep our, we always keep our temperature um, 42 degrees or below. And we'll run this for, for two minutes. And, and as we run it, it'll ease up a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so that's completed the, the pulsed radio frequency for, for two minutes. And what I'm going to do, do now is just reposition my needle um, slightly. We're going to remove the, the radio frequency electrode. Lay that back on our sterile drape there. Um, we're going to get some images, be sure we're in the correct location for our transfer animal epidural. Give me an AP. Image. That looks great. We're uh, no more than 50% uh, across the pedicle and looks in good location. And also give me a lateral. And save that and you can see it's in the uh, it's slightly in the back part of the frame in there. And it looks perfect. And I'm going to put a little contrast in, in this in this view. Image. Image. And you can see that fill in the frame in and around the nerve root. Come back to an AP. And get to make a little more AP, and you can see that actually going around the nerve root, but not nerve root. Not always. Um, I always go live image. That's good. Stop. Just to make sure that I'm not in a in a vessel. Um, and then we'll inject a, a mixture of anesthetic image. And then we're using our non-particulate steroid, dexamethasone, um, and a transferaminal epidural. At this level, you're at image, you're at a greater risk, safe. All right, backing on out. At getting in a in a vessel and using non-particulate steroids makes that significantly safer if you inadvertently do get in a vessel. And that completes the pulse radio frequency ablation of the dorsal root ganglia at L1.